guys, I'm Manga. Today, I'm actually going to be unboxing the motherboard I bought off Amazon. Link is in the description if you guys are interested. It's like an MSI Skylake B1150 mortar, I want to say. I'll show you guys on the box after it is opened. But anyway, I just want to unbox it for you guys. Can't really do a review because I don't have the rest of the components for my computer I'm building. But anyway, let's unbox it. Okay, so now I have you guys above me. And that just makes it easier to see the unboxing. Anyway, let's just get right into this. And here it is. So, let's get those away from those. So it's the MSI B150M mortar. Uh, motherboard, uh, gaming one, I guess. And now I just grabbed it. Um, the case, or the box, looks pretty cool. Here's kind of a diagram of what it looks like on the back. It says, it does support 4K. I didn't even know that. It has all these things. And anyway, let's open it up. If I can figure this out. There we go. And there it is. So I've never opened a motherboard before. And I've never built a PC before. This is really cool. Set that aside and I'll just see. There should be something under. Yes, there is some of the stuff. Okay, so right here, you guys can see that is the IO shield. It's pretty cool. Um, it comes with a SATA, two SATA cables, one with an angle and one with that one. Um, has a Information DVD, I'm guessing it's information. Uh, thank you. Quick installation guide and the user guide. That looks kind of complicated. Anyway, let's just take a look at the motherboard itself. And yeah. So I gotta be careful because I don't want to screw it up already. But this was $75 at the time of this recording on Amazon. And it's really cool. Just don't wanna like hurt it. Took me a little while to get that piece of tape off. I wanna be careful here because I don't wanna screw up any of the components. But I do wanna take a better look at it. So there it is. You'll be able to actually see it through the case I have because it has like a plexiglass side thing. But these are, uh, I think these are heat sinks. Looks like it, but they also just look really cool. Uh, here, these are th USB 3.1 ports, 2.0 ports, VGA, DVI, HDMI support 4K. I think it's a reset switch, that, or a test switch maybe. Right here is optical audio and then a bunch of other ports. I don't really know all what they all do. I only know a few. Here's obviously where you put your CPU, so I won't open that up because you're supposed to do that after you get your CPU. Uh, another heatsink, this is SATA ports, and two PCIe slots because um, I might want to put an Elgato HD Pro in here later. And then all these amazing DDR4 Boost RAM slots. So in the video you guys probably saw that my head was in the way. Um, so that actually prevented you guys from seeing a lot of the components I went over when you were above me in the video. So I'm just going to go over them in some greater detail with these pictures. And yeah, let's get right into this. Here's the box. It just says the name of it that I also went over in the video. Uh, next is the back of the box. You can't really read it. So here I zoomed in on a few uh, components like the 4K, um, the DDR4 boost, and the military class stuff. And then finally the motherboard itself. Here are the SATA cables. I just didn't even take them out of the bag because um, they're not that important. Next is the IO shield. Uh, it kind of labels all the ports out uh, for you guys. I couldn't really show you that in the video because my head was in the way again. Next is all like the instruction manuals and stuff like that with the DVD. And I still don't know what's on that DVD. I think I knew, but I forgot. Next is some pictures of the motherboard. So here's the I.O. with um, going from left to right. Uh, it's a PS2 slot. The two USB 2.0s. The VGA over the DVI ports. 
USB 3.1 over the HDMI port, Ethernet over two more USB 3.1 ports, that over there is optical audio and like left out, right out, uh, left in, and something else, but I can't remember right now. After that are the two PCIe slots or PCI Express slots. After that are the SATA and SATA Express ports. Next are the DDR4 Boost RAM slots where I'm going to be putting hopefully Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM. And here are the uh, heat sinks I was talking about earlier. They looked really cool and I pointed them out in the video. And here's the one that says MSI on it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Why are you doing that? And you clear up this mess. And as always, have a great day. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.